Hi everyone, it's Renee. Welcome to this phone case DIY. The first thing that I'm going to be using is some acrylic paint. I'm using this brand that I'm actually loving right now. And these are the shades that I'm using. White, pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Now you can use whatever you like, whatever colors you like, but I was kind of like following an image that I found online. I'm going to link it below if I can find it, where I got the idea from. But color-wise, you can customize it to whatever you like. And since Valentine's is coming up, maybe you can go for like pink, red, and purple. But for now, we're going to be using this ones. Some brushes, and I would highly suggest you to use brush per color. If you're going to be using six colors, use six brushes. Or you can clean them after you use them every time, as I did. But it's going to be a lot easier if you use a brush per color, especially because we're going to be using colors at the same time. The, so the first thing that I'm going to start doing is creating my background, which is going to be white, obviously. And I'm going to be just mixing this acrylic paint with some water. And I'm just going to cover the whole thing. Something that I realized I didn't mention is the phone case itself. I'm sorry about that. I'm using a recycled phone case. Every time I paint a phone case, I don't buy another like um, acrylic or plastic phone case. I just remove the paint and just uh, paint it over the phone case. So that's why you see this phone case kind of like used and kind of like gross actually but um, I think nobody's going to notice that once my phone case is painted but yeah, just so you know I forgot to mention that I'm going to be using a recycled phone case as well I'm just going to go like three times it depends on the opacity of your paint it's going to be time to get creative and just start the design a few items that I would highly suggest you to have in hand is your brushes a napkin or just a piece of a kitchen towel just so you can clean the brushes after you're done with each color and then some water I'm working outside and I'm just working over uh, one of those leads. I'm just going to place all the colors on top, all the colors that I'm going to be using. You don't need that much because it's going to be like just one swipe or just few swipes of each color. And I'm just going to be customizing this uh, turquoise color. This is like my reference as far as what color shade I want to go for. And basically I'm starting with some white and then I'm adding some blue and green and just keep on mixing until you have, like have the the shade that you like. It's not exactly like the one that I showed you when the whisk thing. It was okay for me. So I just left it like that. I'm just going to grab my brushes and I'm just going to start the sign, which is quite easy as you can see, just swipes up the colors um, randomly and clean the brushes as you go by just um, kind of like removing the color and then just uh, cleaning the excess. And yeah, I'm just going to go all the way around it. Uh, doesn't really matter if the shades or the colors are one on top of the other. I think that looks better actually instead of like all of them like perfectly painted. That's kind of like an abstract design this one. So, But you can go to into whatever direction you want. You can customize it again pretty much up to your own taste. And yeah, just keep on doing that until you're happy with how many fluff of paints you have added. Don't forget to cover the sides and the front of the, your cell phone. Once you have done that, you're just going to protect your design and this is going to actually make the whole design come together and it's going to be like nice and shiny. Now I'm using this Sculpey uh, satin finish with it. I usually prefer to work with uh, spray finishes because it's easier and you cannot see the brushes like in your cell phone. But in this case, this is the only thing I had so I just have to work with it. I'm um, still to find like the perfect finish that is smooth and just uh, everything is, looks even, you know. Spray cloud coats that are clear work the best for me, but sometimes they are too sticky and they take a long time to dry. But uh, until I find something else that I like, that's what I'm using. So this is it for now. I really hope you enjoyed this idea. Again, you can customize the colors to your own liking. If you want to go for like Valentine's, again, you can choose pink, purple, and all those Valentine-ish colors. Uh, but yeah, I just want to share this idea. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more stuff, and share it. Uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.